Hello Angels, thank you so much for being patient with this very large hiatus. I have been working on so many different projects that I'm not able to tell you about it. I'm so excited to be able to finally release it soon, but right now I haven't had a lot of time to do whatever I do. Anyway, for this lesson, I want to get something straight. The only thing in this lesson that will be straight. To only teach the bad words would reduce our beautiful language to just what hearing people can sometimes see as secret insults. If you truly want to know sign language, I encourage you to ask for the words that will actually be vital within communication. But for these lessons specifically, I'm going to be focusing more on vocabulary and phrases that will enable you to hold conversations with those who know ASL. Instead of bad words, I'm going to be teaching you guys some signs of empathy. First sign, empathy, empathy. Over your heart, you use your middle finger. This is a sign for feeling, feel. As we learned in previous lessons, understand. Empathy, empathy. Feel, understand, empathy. It's kind of a direct translation of what the word empathy actually is. It's when you feel and understand someone else's emotions. Feel, understand, empathy. The first thing that I want to teach, I believe I taught it before, but I'm just going to regress a little bit. I love you. I, not my, remember? I, index finger. I love, like you're giving someone a hug. I love you. I love you. Or also the hand sign that I probably overuse at this point. I love you. Which is a combination of the letters I, L, common sense, and Y. But all together, it's I, L, Y, I love you. So, I love you or I love you. Moving on, next phrase is, what's wrong? For this one, it's super easy. You make the same hand sign as Y, Y, and you bring it here. So this is the sign for wrong. And in sign language, you don't technically need all the subjects and the verbs to form the sentence. So for this, all you need is the sign for wrong. Then you need your facial expressions to portray that it's a question, meaning you furrow your eyebrows. So that's that. Yeah. <laughs> so that translates to what's wrong? What's wrong? Different ways you can show it. <laughs> I can't even make the face. What's wrong? On top of that, if they still don't understand its question, you can be and this means question, but typically just by seeing your face. If they know sign especially, they'll understand what you're trying to say. What's wrong? So, I love you. I love you. What's wrong? I support you is the next phrase. I, which you all already know. Support is you make two fists and you take the bottom one and you hit the top one, almost as if it's like coming up to support the fist above. Support. I support you. You could also say, I always support you. I always. You bring it in a circle. I always support you. Or I will. This can open the door to more complexity because the future in sign language is ahead of you. Makes sense, right? You can probably guess that the past is behind you. So will is saying in the future, you bring it in front of you. I will always support you. One more time. I respect you. Something that needs to be said a lot more in our world today. If you haven't seen my first sign language lessons, I highly recommend going back to that because a lot of sign language incorporates the letters into the signs for respect. You make an R, the letter, you have it in front of your face, and you bring it forward. I respect. 
I respect you. Same as the other one, I will, will, always, I'm, I'm, I always twist because I don't know if that helps. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing it. I will always respect you. So what do we know now? Or to shorten it. And this is and as if you're like pulling on a new page. Another one could be wanna talk? Want as if you're pulling the thing that you want towards you. Just as before your expression has to show that it's a question. So talk. Have your hand up and you have it coming out of your mouth, like words, talking, talking, talking. Want to talk? What do you need? What do you? You don't need to sign do. What do you? And need, you make the letter X, don't ask me why it's X, and you bring it down. What do you need? What do you need? I'm here for you. Again, sign language is a lot of common sense. I'm here, right here. Four is you bring your index finger up to your forehead. Uh, drag it, drag it out. How can I help? How? How? You put your hands together, kind of like you're doing the YMCA, but you bring it down a little bit. And then you bring them out. How? 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 Can you make two fists? Just bring it down. Can how can I how can I and help you make a thumbs up? Put your other hand below it and bring it up. How can I? And because in this case you would be helping them, you would bring the help sign towards them. Facial expression. Second to last, you're talented. You're, not you, you're, and talented is you put one hand up and you grab it with the other one and bring it forward. It also means expert or to excel. Lastly, I'm proud of you. I'm, you make an A and bring it up your body. Almost as if you're like zipping up a coat. You don't need up, it's just you. Not your, you. I'm proud of you. <sighs> Rather than teaching bad words, these are signs of empathy. And I hope that you use them in conversations with people who know sign moving forward. I have so much admiration for all of you. Those comments and messages of love that you send me, I read, to be honest, it never feels real to me. But thank you so much, so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for always supporting me and encouraging me and cheering me on. I can't wait to be able to share this news that is gonna come out soon with all of you. Couple things, couple projects. But until then,